Hi folks, uh, my name is Sanjeev Nair. I'm a cloud solution architect focused on data and AI from Microsoft. Um, today I'm going to talk about a new service which was released in Azure OpenAI uh, called Azure OpenAI Service on Your Data. So it's currently in public preview and I'm just looking at the blog which kind of talks about it. But essentially just to kind of give you an idea on what does that really mean. Um, so over here, I'm just going to flip to my um, uh, my Azure OpenAI uh, chat playground. And if you were to ask anything, any any question, which is, let's say, for instance, prior to 2021, it doesn't know. Like, for instance, if I say who won NBA in 2023, uh, it's going to come back and say that uh, as an AI language, I cannot predict future events with certainty. So I'm just going to go into uh, the, the Wikipedia article around uh, the NBA event. For instance, if I say NBA 2023, Wikipedia, and let's say if I bring the con, uh, just copy the content from the Wikipedia article, uh, just give me a second, and I just, I'm just going to take that data here, copy it, and then put that in this chat playground. And then let's say if I save the changes, uh, it's and if I then if I say who won NBA in 2023, uh, it's going to come back and say Denver Nuggets won NBA 2023, and that's because right now it has I added uh, a system message or uh, which is essentially uh, taking that message as a prompt and sending it to the to the completions API behind the scene, and that's why. Uh, it's able to answer. So um, how do you have uh, L or the chat GPT answer questions based on your data? And that's what this add your own data is all about. It's also called retrieval augmented generation pattern. Um, so right now, let's say I have a whole bunch of documents related to my company, like it, uh, in this case, I have a whole bunch of documents related to, um, to benefits options and I got these are all different um, health uh, health insurance options uh, based documents, and I got a document related to different plans uh, for healthcare insurance. So now, let's say if I want to be able to have a conversational experience around this data, uh, how do I get uh, that uh, working, and how do you how do I get that up and running very quickly? And that's exactly what this add your own data is all about. So if I come into this add your own data source, in this case, let's say if I come in here and I, I, I choose, let's say I have a, a, a blob storage, and then um, I, I also need to kind of set up a Azure Cognitive Search resource. So that's also very simple. So all you have to do is, let's say if you go to uh, portal.azure.com, you can simply go to the, um, Azure Cognitive Search capability, and then create an, uh, a co Cognitive Search um, service. So it's basically you come in here and then say Cognitive Search, uh, Cognitive Search, uh, so I can, if I can spell it right. Um, it's basically you just have to come in here and then click uh, Azure Cognitive Search to create an Azure Cognitive Search service. And that's uh, how simple it is. And I already have created one. And if I look at my current cognitive search instance, uh, I just need to kind of flip my directory here because um, it was in a different tenant. So if I go to my my correct tenant, and then if I just go to the um, Azure Cognitive Search instance, uh, just wait for this to come up. So I already have created a Azure Cognitive Search instance. And essentially, when you think about what Cognitive Search does, you have the ability to uh, to search on various content. So all you need to do is you can connect your data, import your data, and then it could be data sitting in a SQL database, blob storage, or table storage, or any of those content, and then you can index and have a search experience. But in this case, all I had to do was create a cognitive search index. And then basically, uh, I just have to point it to the cognitive search index, and I have to create an index name. So in this case, I'm going to say Northwind data, and then I just need to acknowledge, click next. And now I can actually drag and drop 
the files which I need to uh, to be uh, I want this to, uh, uh, to to have answer questions on. So in this case, I'm going to add all the all the documents on which I'm going to um, have this experience on, and I just need to upload the files. Uh, and, and then once I do that, if I click next and save and close, it's going to have uh, make that data available right here. So I already did this, and then uh, as you can see, I already had these questions, and I, then I was able to have uh, a, a, a natural language kind of question answer on this data. So let's say, for instance, if I say, can you give me a summary of Northern Standard Plan? It gives me an uh, answer to that question. So just to kind of show you how this work here, so um, can you um, show me details on North Wind standard plan? Uh, it's supposed to give you that that answer. So, uh, so essentially, uh, just just coming up uh, in a bit. But I've already done this in the uh, in, in the past. Um, so basically, as you can see, you know, it's actually all the way down there. Uh, it's basically it gave you some details around the Northwind Standard Plan. So I was able to have a quick conversational experience within minutes on the existing uh, data or existing data which you have. It is extremely uh, uh, useful. And then let's say if I the next step is I want to be able to create uh, create a uh, uh, deploy this to like a web application where you know right now I'm having this experience um, within my chat use user interface within the Azure AI Studio, but you can actually quickly create a web application, and uh, and and basically you could uh, you could then you know all you need is a subscription resource group and a location and a pricing plan. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose East US and then choose a pricing plan. And then deploy. I mean, I've already had uh, something deployed already. So uh, this is the the web application which it deployed. So if I say what is, um, uh, uh, or if I say give me more details on the Northwind Standard Plan. Standard Plan. Uh, it's supposed to provide you more details on that. So, uh, what I'm showing you here is within minutes, you are able to take your own custom, your own data. Like it could be any data, it could be data sitting in PDF, or it could also be data sitting in um, your uh, SQL database or any such storage. Index it and have a conversational experience and deploy that into a website uh, within minutes. So um, that's this new feature called bring your own data to Azure OpenAI. Thank you so much.